The Clovis culture is a prehistoric Paleo-Indian culture, named after distinct stone tools found at sites near Clovis, New Mexico, in the 1920s and 1930s. The Clovis culture appears around 11,500-11,000 Uncala CYBP at the end of the last glacial period, and is characterized by the manufacture of Clovis points and distinctive bone and ivory tools. Archaeologists' most precise determinations at present suggest that this radiocarbon age is equal to roughly 13,200 to 12,900 calendar years ago. Clovis people are considered to be the ancestors of most of the indigenous cultures of the Americas. The only human burial that has been directly associated with tools from the Clovis culture included the remains of an infant boy named ANZICK1. Researchers from the United States and Europe conducted paleogenetic research on ANZICK1's ancient nuclear, mitochondrial, and Y-chromosome DNA. The results of these analyses reveal that ANZICK1 is closely related to modern Native American populations, which lends support to the bearing year hypothesis for the peopling of the Americas. The Clovis culture was replaced by several more localized regional cultures from the time of the Younger Dryas Cold Climate period onward, about 12,000 years ago. Post-Clovis cultures include the Folsom Tradition, Ganey, Suwanee Simpson, Plainview Goshen, Cumberland, and Redstone. Each of these is commonly thought to derive directly from Clovis in some cases apparently differing only in the length of the fluting on their projectile points, although this is generally held to be the result of normal cultural change through time. Numerous other reasons have been suggested to be the driving force for the observed changes in the archaeological record, such as the Younger Dryas impact event or post-glacial climate change with numerous faunal extinctions. After the discovery of several Clovis sites in eastern North America in the 1930s, the Clovis people came to be regarded as the first human inhabitants who created a widespread culture in the New World. However, this theory has been challenged, in the opinion of many archaeologists, by several archaeological discoveries including sites such as Cactus Hill in Virginia, Paisley Caves in the Summer Lake Basin of Oregon, the topper site in Allendale County, South Carolina, Meadowcroft Rock Shelter in Pennsylvania, the Friedkin site in Texas, Quava Fell in Chilean, especially, Monte Verde, also in Chile. The claim to the oldest human archaeological site known in the Americas belongs to the Pedifure de Human Remains and Hearths a site in Brazil that precedes the Clovis culture and the other sites already mentioned by 19,000 to 30,000 years. This discovery has become an issue of contention between North American archaeologists and their South American and European counterparts, who disagree on whether it is conclusively proven to be older. Adding to this debate are findings from Wally's Beach, an archaeological site discovered in 1996 by an Alberta schoolteacher at St. Mary's Reservoir, near Cardston, Alberta, close to the Canadian boundary with the state of Montana. Recent preliminary carbon dating shows a culture from around or prior to 13,000 years ago, along with horse, camel, and other key findings. Description a hallmark of the toolkit associated with the Clovis culture is the distinctively shaped, fluted stone spear point, known as the Clovis point. The Clovis point is bifacial and typically fluted on both sides. Archaeologists do not agree on whether the widespread presence of these artifacts indicates the proliferation of a single people, or the adoption of a superior technology by diverse population groups. The culture was originally named for a small number of artifacts found between 1936 and 1938 at Blackwater locality No. 1, an archaeological site near the town of Clovis, New Mexico. People began collecting artifacts at this site in the late 1920s but artifacts and animal remains that had not moved since the Pleistocene were not recovered until 1936. 
The in situ finds of 1936 and 1937 included most of four stone clovis points, two long bone points with impact damage, stone blades, a portion of a clovis blade core, and several cutting tools made on stone flakes. Clovis sites have since been identified throughout much, but not all, of the contiguous United States, as well as Mexico and Central America, and even into northern South America. It is generally accepted that Clovis people hunted mammoths, as Clovis points have repeatedly been found in sites containing mammoth remains. Mammoth was only a small part of the Clovis diet. Extinct bison, mastodon, gomphotheris, sloths, tapir, paleolimar, horse and a host of smaller animals have also been found in Clovis sites where they were killed and eaten. In total, more than 125 species of plants and animals are known to have been used by Clovis people in the portion of the Western Hemisphere they inhabited. Disappearance of Clovis the most commonly held perspective on the end of the Clovis culture is that a decline in the availability of megafauna, combined with an overall increase in a less mobile population, led to local differentiation of lithic and cultural traditions across the Americas. After this time, Clovis-style fluted points were replaced by other fluted point traditions with an essentially uninterrupted sequence across North and Central America. An effectively continuous cultural adaptation proceeds from the Clovis period through the ensuing Middle and Late Paleo-Indian periods. Whether the Clovis culture drove the mammoth and other species to extinction via overhunting, the so-called Pleistocene overkill hypothesis, is still an open and controversial question. It has also been hypothesized that the Clovis culture saw its decline in the wake of the Younger Dryas cold phase. This cold shock, lasting roughly 1500 years, affected many parts of the world, including North America. This appears to have been triggered by a vast amount of meltwater, possibly from Lake Agassiz, emptying into the North Atlantic, disrupting the thermohaline circulation. The Younger Dryas impact hypothesis or Clovis comet hypothesis originally proposed that a large airburst or Earth impact of a comet or comets from outer space initiated the Younger Dryas cold period about 12,900 BP calibrated years ago. The hypothesis has been largely contradicted by research showing that most of the conclusions cannot be repeated by other scientists, and criticized because of misinterpretation of data and the lack of confirmatory evidence. Discovery A cowboy and former slave, George McJunkin, found an ancient bison skeleton in 1908 after a flash flood. The site was first excavated in 1926, near Folsom, New Mexico, under the direction of Harold Cook and Jesse Figgins. On August 29, 1927, they found the first in situ Folsom point with the extinct B. Antiquis bones. This confirmation of a human presence in the Americas during the Pleistocene inspired many people to start looking for evidence of early man. In 1929, 19-year-old Ridgely Whiteman, who had been closely following the excavations in nearby Folsom in the newspaper, discovered the Clovis Man site in the Blackwater Drawer in eastern New Mexico. Despite earlier legitimate Paleo-Indian discoveries, the best documented evidence of the Clovis tool complex was excavated between 1932 and 1937 near Clovis, New Mexico, by a crew under the direction of Edgar Billings Howard from the Academy of Natural Sciences, University of Pennsylvania. Howard's crew left their excavation in Burnett Cave, New Mexico in August 1932 and visited Whiteman and his Blackwater Draw site. By November, Howard was back at Blackwater Draw to investigate additional finds from a construction project. The American Journal of Archaeology in its Archaeological Notes mentions E. B. Howard's work in Burnett Cave, including the discovery of extinct fauna and a Folsom type, 0.4 feet below a basketmaker burial. 
This brief mention of the Clovis Point found in place predates any work at the Dent site in Colorado. References made to a slightly earlier article on Burnett Cave in the University Museum Bulletin of November, 1931. The first report of professional work at the Blackwater Draw Clovis site is in the November 25, 1932, issue of Science News. The publications on Burnett Cave and Blackwater Draw directly contradict statements by several authors that Dent, Colorado was the first excavated Clovis site. The Dent site, in Weld County, Colorado, was simply a fossil mammoth excavation in 1932. The first Dent Clovis Point was found November 5, 1932 and the in-situ point was found July 7, 1933. The in-situ Clovis Point from Burnett Cave was excavated in late August, 1931. E.B. Howard brought the Burnett Cave Point to the Third Picos Conference, September 1931, and showed it around to several archaeologists interested in early man. Also, in 1968, in Montana, a Clovis burial site was found where the remains of a two-years-old child were studied. These remains have been named as ANZICK1 and recently, in 2014, have been used in scientific research. Clovis Paleo Indians Available genetic data shows that the Clovis people are the direct ancestors of roughly 80% of all living Native American populations in North and South America, with the remainder descended from ancestors who entered in later waves of migration. As reported in February 2014, DNA from the 12,600-year-old remains of Anzic Boy, found in Montana, has affirmed this connection to the peoples of the Americas. In addition, this DNA analysis affirmed genetic connections back to ancestral peoples of Northeast Asia. This adds weight to the theory that peoples migrated across a land bridge from Siberia to North America. Clovis' first single origin hypothesis, known as Clovis I, the predominant hypothesis among archaeologists in the latter half of the 20th century, had been that the people associated with the Clovis culture were the first inhabitants of the Americas. The primary support for this was that no solid evidence of pre-Clovis human inhabitation had been found. According to the standard accepted theory, the Clovis people crossed the Bering Year land bridge over the Bering Strait from Siberia to Alaska during the period of lowered sea levels during the Ice Age, then made their way southward through an ice-free corridor east of the Rocky Mountains in present-day western Canada as the glaciers retreated. This hypothesis came to be challenged by studies suggesting a pre-Clovis human occupation of the Americas. In 2011, following the excavation of an occupation site at Buttermill Creek, Texas, a prominent group of scientists claimed to have definitely established the existence of an occupation older than Clovis. According to researchers, Michael Waters and Thomas Stafford of Texas A&M University, new radiocarbon dates place Clovis remains from the continental United States in a shorter time window beginning 450 years later than the previously accepted threshold. The new scientific consensus has been established that Clovis' first hypothesis is incorrect.